All right, I'm out here in Woodland Park and we're gonna go check out some of the townhomes here by Providence Homes. All right, so we're here to check out three of their floor plans. So we're gonna start off with the smallest and then we'll check out bigger floor plan and then their mid-sized floor plan. So we're gonna start off at the Dogwood. So this one is a little bit smaller and it has a one car garage, but I think what's really great with Providence Homes and in this community is that you'll have options, you know, from obviously small, middle, and on the larger side of uh, floor plans. And then of course, having that garage space that, you know, that could definitely be a, a deal breaker, but let's go check them out. As soon as we walk in, we have a really nice kitchen here, and this would be considered your garage, you know, entry or exit. But of course, we come, it has the standard appliances. I love the little details that they did with this in just making this more than just a standard kitchen. So like adding these shelves here, very nice. And you have a nice eating kitchen space. Something different, what I've noticed in some of the, from the different builders is that this, like with this one, there's no like chandelier, but there is recessed lighting. Um, but again, this is the model or at least one of the models. So um, you'll have, you know, just probably options to choose from. Oh, and this is a nice space as well, having outside. So you can have an enclosed lanai. And so we have a half bath down here and then we'll head right on upstairs to check out the rest of the home. Immediately to the left after I get upstairs, we have the primary bedroom with the ensuite this is a little bit uh tighter in space and size you know a lot of the other primary ensuites they're a little bit larger at least in this space but i know that this one is a the one with the one car garage so of course this is going to be more economical in space and just kind of using every square inch of the home let's check out these closets too that's important so there's actually two closets in this so this is one closet and then there's another closet right over there to the right on the other side washer dryer so this is more of like a closet versus an actual space like a room i'm sorry it's more of like a closet instead of like a laundry room and then we have another bedroom here so all bedrooms upstairs on this floor plan and i like what they did with this they made it not your bedroom even though we know this is a bedroom technically we have the half bath and with this they did something a little bit different and from in comparison to all the other ones they did you know your standard tub and shower but no different type of tile like they didn't do any custom stuff there but most likely to make it more economical and affordable but of course you can always do what you want all right let me know in the comments what you thought about this particular floor plan and we're gonna go check out two more all right we're gonna go check out the laurel this is the larger of the three different floor plans that they offer here by providence homes here in nocatee so let's see what they have to offer all right as soon as we walk in we have know that there's upstairs but we also see little peeky peek back there. There's a bedroom downstairs and you just have a really open floor plan in an L shape. Compared to a lot of the other townhomes like this, you're definitely getting a lot more counter space here. What's also nice is that um, it's not tight here in this space but you are getting a two car garage. So this has your two car garage and then you have three bedrooms that are upstairs and one downstairs. And then you have of course your pantry and then you have a half bathroom here as well right off of the main living space so this could either be the primary or it could be really it could be the primary because the other there's another bedroom upstairs that also has an ensuite attached but because this is a little bit more luxurious feeling and there's double vanities in here like i would consider this the primary bedroom then this also has an enclosed lanai nice green space back there so let's head on upstairs so this is the other bedroom that i mentioned that it could also be the primary bedroom but the ensuite is not as big so it really is just kind of your preference So this is, you know, single vanity, then of course shower tub combo, but you can potentially make this into something a little different. And we have a nice loft to hang out at, 
upstairs. This is the AC here to my right. Then we'll have another full bathroom, but it's a little bit deeper, like walkway wise. So I had to like really step in here to make sure I was in there. <laughs> and then you have another full bedroom and then another full bedroom. Let me know in the comments after viewing this home what you thought. Do you like it more than the first one? This is their biggest floor plan that they offer here in this community. So let me know and let's go check out the last one. All right, we're gonna go actually check out this last one here. So usually one of the models, the site agent sales center will be where the garage should be. So this is what that is currently. And we're gonna go take a tour. All right, so something a little different on this one with the Holly is that this has a side entry versus the entry on in between the buildings or the units because this is also the end unit. So I take that back You see, this must be the larger of all of the homes. So this could be office, shared loft, bedroom, that's the double doors and you have an ensuite bath as well. That's also connected to the hallway over there on the right. But this is really, really, really spacious. I mean, look at it. It's huge. All right. So we have our main living space. Of course, we have dining space here, more so towards the rear instead of like in between uh, from like an open, you know, just the traditional like living room, dining, and then kitchen. Like this has a nice open feel and it feels wider also in here. And then we have more of a separate and like pushed out covered lanai versus what we saw in the other ones where they were just literally butting up to the next one. So you have like all three corner or three walls here that are open and you can utilize to enjoy your backyard. This is such a nice kitchen. I really like the gray and I love, I actually did use a similar tile, but mine was white instead of like this glass front. So super nice. And I like that there's actually a window in the kitchen. Most kitchens don't even have windows because most of them are just really, really open and kind of off to the side, but it's nice to have a window here and that not being like lost space because there are other windows here. And we have more of a closet pantry you Can step inside it, but definitely a closet pantry. And then this is that bathroom that I mentioned that was connected to the front room here. And now let's head upstairs. So here immediately, as soon as we get off the landing pad, like the last step, we have a bedroom to our left with what it looked like a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we have shower tub combo and you have your main space here to wash your hands and things and get ready. Then you have you walk immediately into the next bedroom from the hallway. We have linen closet. That's exciting. <laughs> Then we have laundry here as well. And it appears to be, I would assume, and I don't wanna assume, don't ever assume you guys, that that appliances are included. We'll have to check because incentives always change. Also, this is the ensuite. It's nice that we have a couple of different windows in different positions here. And then right over here, oh, okay, we're immediately in the ensuite. Oh, it's a little darker in here. I would have probably added another recessed light in here, but stand up shower, toilet area, double vanities, Super cute and there's a window. I just love natural light and I hope you guys do too because I think that's so important so you can feel really dark in your house. <laughs> then we have one closet here and then we have another closet over here. So that's nice and all the switches are on the exterior of the wall like the room so even like the bathroom like i noticed like okay the switch is not on the inside it's on the outside before i walk in and that obviously makes sense but i think i'm just so used to uh a lot of places who have them on the inside so after touring this third model with providence homes let me know in the comments would you live here which one did you like the most one two or three and I have worked with so many people who I'm booking discovery calls with. So if you're interested in buying a home or moving here to Northeast Florida, I'd be happy to help you. Again, my name is Yasha Wells, your favorite Jacksonville realtor. All right, you guys, until next time, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.